USA has recently been indexed uh, by uh, Clarivet Book Citation Analysis. Uh, he has also pu published in several national and international journals. Uh, with regards to his research, he has traveled to Dubai, uh, Slovenia, Nepal, Singapore, and Amsterdam, and he is also presented in these countries. The core areas of his research are new media, convergence media, media research, fake news detection, peace building, and conflict resolution. He is also the editor and chief of the biannual Scopus indexed and UGC care listed journal named a journal of content, community and communication. He is also the chairman of the recently established center of detection of fake news and disinformation at MIT University. He has uh, many hands-on uh, uh, hands training workshops in catching fake and cloned uh, predatory journals in academics. Uh, lastly, he's a certified uh, Google trainer and a fact finder, and he's equally uh, familiar with software such as SPSS, Smart PLS, uh, Mendeley, and NVivo 12. Um, that's a brief, uh, 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 brief introduction of Dr. Narula. I hope I've done justice. And um, before you take over, uh, Dr. Narula, I request you to brief our participants how you would like to take the questions, whether uh, as you are uh, doing the session or uh, towards the end. And as usual, audience, please keep yourselves muted so that we don't disturb the session. Over to you, uh, Dr. Narula and uh, Dr. Subaram. Maybe we can go live now. I can. We are already live, uh, Dr. Sylvia. Right. I can take uh, questions in between also. I will not be able to see the chat box while I was sharing my screen. But so anybody from the side can ask. Uh, Sumit, can you uh, increase uh, the volume or maybe keep the mic a bit closer to you? OK, right. Yeah, it's audible, Subara. Thanks. Yeah, uh, Sumit, can we have your audio plans, please? Yes. Uh, am I audible, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what I was saying that I can have the questions in between also. I will not be able to see the chat box because I will be sharing the screen. So if okay. there is any burning question, please ask in between. Otherwise, you can put the names of the journals uh, during my presentation and I will search the journals for you. I would be very happy if the questions come and it will be very, very kind of a discussion kind of uh, situation for us. And uh, it will be very, very uh, kind of eye opener uh, things which I will be showing. So I would expect some of the good questions and some of the name of the journals from the audience itself. So if allowed, I would like to start uh, my presentation, sir. If technically, we are sound and we are good to go. Yeah, yes. technically, we are all good and we are live on YouTube also. Right, right. So thank you, sir, for inviting me here. I will just start my presentation. And uh, yes, so this would be a hands-on training session on how to catch fake predatory and clone journals. We are specifically working in the area of cloned and predatory journals. So first half will be divided into the clone journals and in catching the clone journals, the second half will be uh, uh, will be on the predatory journals and catching the predatory journals. So I'm Dr. Sovind Narula. I'm Director Amity School of Communication and Public Relations here in Amity University, Madhya Pradesh, Gwalior. We have recently established a center for detection of fake news and disinformation where we detect these works and we put uh, this into the word and there is a team of around 10 15 students and five faculties working with me i'm a google certified trainer i started my training in december 2019 when i visited uh, google asia pacific headquarters in singapore then we are being uh, certified by fact shala in september after the three days of uh, official training being given by them i started this journal journal of content community and communication it's a bi index scopus uh, it's a bi annual scopus index journal by virtue of scopus it is in ugc care list also it is a communication journal and it is now one of the top 200 research journals in india and you can see in the word also so the site score is right now at 0. 0.6 we are also looking for the uh, mt news channel that would be the edutainment channel that would be mt tv and i'm the deputy head of that and we are launching this channel in this year because of the corona we couldn't launch it next, last year so the first slide is of predatory journals. Let me brief you about the predatory journals. There are seven to nine slides, and then I will go for the hands-on. Or first, I can go to Cologne. Let me go to Cologne, then I will come to predatory. Yes, Cologne. So Cologne journal web pages are a counterfeit mirror of an authentic journal that exploit the title and ISN of a legitimate journal. 
all the things which i will be speaking will be uh, given will be sufficed sufficed by the examples you will get all the examples whatever i will speak it will be uh, answered with an example in contrast to predatory journals colon journals are more likely to accept papers from authors since they have developed as a mirror image of the reputable journal they will accept any kind of research paper because it's a clone journal they will uh, make the mirror image of the domain name itself also some of these counterfeit journals actively chase authors through a modified email that announces a fake call for papers in a current issue of the journal i will show you the examples everything is examples authors may be duped by these solicitations into paying an open access publication fees trusting that their work is about to be published in a reputable journal so we will be having full discussion of open access publication fees and i will be sharing some of the points some of the notes with you on open access after 2 hours you will be very very thorough with the uh, with the paying of open access and understanding of the concept of open access predatory so predatory publishing is right, called right only publishing or deceptive publishing it is an exploitative publishing business model that involves charging publication fees to authors without checking articles for originality and quality and without providing any editorial services there are a couple of journals which are there in elsewhere or in web of science or in any other indexing agency publish around 8000 research papers in a year so 8000 means around 20 research papers every day they were publishing which is not a possibility specifically these areas of sciences are being misused by them the areas of immunology biotechnology these kind of journals are still lurking there in these databases i will show you the live examples those who are still there i will show you their websites i will show you that how you going to check them and after 2 hours of this research journey together you are kind of certified fact checkers in the field of fake predatory and clone journals they are regarded as predatory because scholars are tricked into publishing with them although some authors may be aware that the journal is of poor quality so there are two kind of people one who has been duped by them another though who those who publish with them because they want early publication they want cheap publication and they are on the verge of losing phd or they are on the verge of losing their jobs so they publish with these kind of uh, predatory journals new scholars from developing countries like india and other countries are said to be especially at risk of being misled by predatory publishers according to one study i will show you that unique example according to one study 60% of articles published in a predatory journal receive no citations over the five year period following publication so there is a unique journal also which stands which stood there for five years and it was cited by none in five years zero citation in five years published around 3600 research papers and that is of plant biology plant archive is the name of that journal we will go to that journal later now start with the impact factor there are always discussion of impact factor impact factor so my understanding of this and my knowledge and my a uh, specialization says that there are only two types of impact factors which we have to consider in academics the first one is site score by elsewhere which is scopus and jcr by the claribet analysis web of science rest are rug and dubious impact factor how can how can we check them and what are the reasons we will go to this link that is predatorygenus.com/matrices i'm clicking on this link you can write down this link in your uh, notes so it will take us here on this website which says predatorygenus.com/matrices now you see list of misleading and fake matrices why they are misleading and fake there are seven points the first point says the website for the matrix is non transparent and provides little information about location management team and its experience other company information the company charges journals for the inclusion the values for most of the journals are on the increase very very important point this fourth point the company uses google scholar as its database for calculating matrices google scholar does not screen or quality screen for quality and indexes predatory journals so if you are thinking that google indexing is a very big thing nothing is there google indexing is a simple thing it does not check any quality it just indexes everything so it doesn't mean that if paper is on google scholar if somebody is in google so that that your uh, your paper and your journal is really very good your research is really very good because they do not screen for the quality and this is a list alphabetically you can check it it is for it is a work that you have to do now food for thought just go through the list alphabetically and you will see all the names of the rug and predatory journals uh, uh, predatory impact factors are written here and why i have given you seven examples of seven points on that you can see gif is there global impact factor you can see esji that is eurasian scientific journal index then you can see drgi 
the biggest culprit among them is index copper nickels you can go to the link also so index copper nickels has been used by many research journals by mistake or by some other problem but but you can see that this is not at all an important kind of impact factor asked by anybody they uh, they they token they spoken about that uh, predatory journals on their website also but all the predatory journals are being indexed by them right although they have written that these are some of the identification bases and all but, but but they do not stand anywhere so this link is very very important for you that is predatoryjournals.com on the same link if you click on the publishers you will get the list of the publishers this is a list of the publisher alphabetically which are deemed predatory in the field of publications many times you will be getting the unsolicited mails from people those who that you can publish your uh, book uh, you can publish your thesis and they will give you 100 copies do you have to buy 100 copies and they will publicize so you don't have to believe them you should never believe them because these kind of publisher are basically the predatory publishers right so this is a big list just check this list as and when you have time and this should be your kind of bible now coming to after impact factor 2 some of the important links if you have any doubt about any scopus index journal just write to title suggestion at the rate scopus.com they will reply back to you about the health of the research journal and sometimes with the original website of that journal sometimes the scopus database does not show you the original website but if you write to them they will get back to you asap this is also very important in ugc care uni pune we will come back to this link later this link tells us about the cologne journal of international and as well as indian journals this is our center center for detection of fake news and disinformation and you can come to this link also and we will also there to help you in the field of misinformation and disinformation so this is our center where we are working in the field of cologne and predatory journals and uh, taking uh, the workshops and awareness campaigns coming back to my presentation again so this is a email helpline please write down this email cdfnd@gwa.md.edu we started this helpline on this teachers day and almost every day we get around 10 to 15 email from all over india about asking of the journal about the health of the journal whether it is red flagged or not what is the status of that journal whether it is predatory or not whether you should pay for that or not any kind of question about any journal on the part of the world on any part of the world we will check it for you we have the databases access the scopus the web of science the nas as well as the abdc data so we will get back to you with all the details you just have to write to cdfnd at the rate gwa.mt.edu now 15 crucial points i will be going on uh, these points one by one and then i will shift to the hands on training the first point very important point most predatory clone journals will not have any submission deadlines they will publish out of the purview slash scope of the journal they will not have any submission deadline you can publish with them in 24 hours some publishes in 1 hour you pay them you send them the paper it is published right and that too even out of the purview of the journal they will charge money obviously they will charge money only then they will publish in 1 hour most of them will be having multiple journals doing the same job sometimes there one journal is indexed i will show you a publisher whose one journal was indexed but he has shown that he has multiple journals indexed they also use a cloned website with same logo most of the predatory clone journals we use gmail id is very very important point gmail id as and when you get an email or a call for paper from a gmail just be very very careful there will be no contact details of the editor in chief or editor and else they will be the fake people you will not be able to contact them on your own i will show you the example all these are example based things always check and recheck the data in scopus or web of science always check the making of the websites i will show you that also that how you can check the making of the website and yes they will be using the fake stamps we will check that also and google indexing is very easy there is no science involved in it and it is not useful anywhere in academics but it gives you more citation so be very very uh, happy about that that google indexing is there so it's fine aapne kuch lose nahi kiya if you don't have the google indexing with you if it is an open access journal look for doj stamp the journal must give you a digital object identifier we will discuss that also it's a very very burning topic most renowned journals are now integrating the orchid id with research publications so you need to be very very careful that your orchid id should be attached with your research paper so that it should automatically come to your database all predatory journals will have very less or no citations and will be involved in unethical and malpractices 
that is it so these are 15 points this list is exhaustive if you can add some point you are free to add it's a free list you can add as many points as you can now i will shift to the hands on part of it so the first journal i will show you is the adalia journal so just look at this website for 30 seconds and you can see that prima facie it has all the problems which we just discussed the first is that it is using the gmail id here right impact factor is saying 5.3 you don't know who has given them this impact factor it's not written here you go to click on the contact you will see there is nobody you can contact only the details you go to the editorial board only the names of the people are here you don't know who these people are what is their email id and how to contact them whether they know that their name is there or not is also a questionable thing so if you go to call for paper of this journal adalia you can see the scope scope is also very very important to understand the scope is since from science to architecture no it's not like that you need to have one or two scopes of your journal it cannot be a uh, journal from science to architecture and again the gmail id on the website they have given us a screenshot stating that it is a web of science index journal yes it is a web of science index journal but you can see on the website it is written the categories archaeology and it is being published from turkey and it is a turkish journal so why it is using a dot com that is also point of uh, concern it should be dot tr so what we will do now we will go to the web of science databases and we will search it there but before going there we will see some more points you can see these logos which i just told you the site factor the doi the abec i these logos are there without any purpose and whom they are fooling the ugc care listed two journals those the authors or the researchers from india or from uh, south asian countries right so these are some of the points you can see publication charges again 5000 and 100 dollars everything written in open right so where is original journal how we will check that we will go to web of science web of science will give you an mjl that is master journalist but before there you have to log in like i have logged in you can log in with your gmail id it's very very simple you can log in with your gmail id reach this page search journal write the name here adalia journal once you write the name go to search and you reach that screenshot which he has posted there but if you click on view profile page here you will get the full details of that journal and you can see that it is an annual journal country is turkey and when you click here it will take you to the original website these databases will never make the mistake of uh, putting a cloned website here so if you click here you will reach to the original website of that journal which i have told you is in turkey so this is the original website of that journal so can you beat that that the cloning is of this level that you have to search the journals now forget about researching or writing papers the first work nowadays is to uh, search a good journal which is not cloned right so this is one example i will show you certain uh, international examples then certain indian examples and then i will shift to predatory journal meanwhile if there is any question any journal you can write in the chat box somebody from the team can uh, speak and give me the name i will search it there only so the second one is aguim journal aguim dot dr sumit one second uh, there yes. is one question on what is disinformation before you go ahead disinformation okay there is a thin line of uh, difference between misinformation and disinformation misinformation means that you don't know the truth and you circulated it because you don't know it that's why you circulated it because it is just an information it 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 can be a rumor also but disinformation is you do it deliberately you deliberately publish with a journal you know that it's a cloned journal or you know that it's a predatory journal you deliberately publish with it you show that to your academic person you show that to your university and you take number out of that in your academic career that is called disinformation if you do not know that it was a clone journal you can simply now uh, go to your uh, the higher authorities and can say sir we just came to know that it's a clone journal and i'm sorry i i should not have published with that but specifically knowing that it is a paid journal publishing wrong material and publish with them 
is leading to disinformation about your own self and about your research so and the same goes with your news also you know that the news is wrong still you are circulating it amongst people is called disinformation but you do not know the information and you write yes i am not sure about this information i received it and i am sharing it with others and you writing this thing a disclaimer then it is a category of misinformation sometimes so this is a starking difference between disinformation and misinformation hindi mein bole disinformation ka matlab hai jaan boojh kar jhoot bolna ya jaan boojh ko kisi ko galat rasta dikhana misinformation ka matlab hai sir mere se galti ho gayi hai to wo galti meri thodi aap tak bhi pahunch gayi hai this is misinformation i hope the answer is clear sir yeah yeah uh, silvia you want to take uh, you want to ask the next question posted on the thing before he no, goes ahead I was thinking maybe you can just continue subarao so that there's no confusion. Okay. Uh, yeah. so, sorry for intrusion Silvia I think uh, no. yeah yeah. Uh, there is one question on IOSR JDMS journals. Are they fake or IOSR JDMS? No no IOSR dash JDMS. Are you a dental and medical sciences? Yes yes yes. here it is so uh, we need to see where are they indexed if they are not indexed anywhere you need to be aware of these journals and 12 issues per year is also a doubtful thing for me and then you can see ici is not of that standard indian citation index many of the journals are indexed with them and prima facie from this website uh, there's some kind of doubt in my mind uh, i need to see where are they indexed and indexing is not written anywhere so please do not go with these journals because specifically those journals who give you hard copy of the certificate and all never go with them what is the need of hard copy of the certificate why are they giving you the certificates so they are not indexed anywhere and for that medical i think sir you go for pubmed what is the indexing agency for you in medical yeah pubmed pubmed so i i don't see any pubmed id there because pubmed gives you an id specific id and this is a case of multiple journals by one publisher you can see multiple journals around 20 25 journals i can see right now and uh, they are not at all indexed anywhere so they they are they, they can be in the category of predatory that they give you disinformation and take papers out of you and they will also extract money out of you this can be the case with them because they're not indexed anywhere they're just indexed in indian citation index so you if you go to submit article we can see that also some more research is required from my side on this so i can do it and i can get back to you and uh, i can see the editorial board once so who are the people there in the editorial board so if the names are there why their email ids are not here so that is also a point of concern that why we cannot contact them and we cannot ask them sir whether uh, you are working with a true journal or not so email id should always be given and if you go to contact us on their journal yes you cannot see the details that so it's a doubtful highly doubtful journal sir highly doubtful publisher rather i would say that we publishing from gurgaon haryana Qatar office, Australia office. That they can write any name in the in the website. Here is indexing. If go to indexing in this journal. Uh, can I add something to this? Go ahead, sir. Uh, I am just pasting it. Uh, uh, this is a email ID which is a uh, like support dot tripmanza dot in. That is a support email ID of this website, which I could uh, found from the online. So I think this is not the. Uh, related it is not dot org the support thing support thing so tripmanza is the company support or the support dot tripmanza dot in is something else it's something else so this journal is uh, not the dot org the support team support website is not from the dot uh, org it is from the tripmanza dot in so it's not the original or genuine it seems like that's all i want to just add thank you yeah. right, so, right so so you can Yes, that's sir. very that's very much hands on uh, uh, so sumit and uh, there are a couple of questions would you like to take them now or a uh, little later uh, let me show them a couple of more uh, yeah. journals clone journals maybe some name came and their name we match some names together yeah, yeah maybe right. so 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 five more journals from my side and then i will take questions 
so we had to argue him so let's find out where is the argue let's discuss this argue so you see the uniqueness of this journal again ugc care approved multidisciplinary care tool list is there because to the indian scholars only because we are in a hurry to publish with ugc care list too again the gmail id again the impact factor 6.1 and then you see which i told you the submission last date is throughout the year acceptance date was 24 hours publication period within 24 hours receiving the publication fees it's not possible for a true and original journal to publish even champak nandan takes 3 days of an editing work so how can they publish research paper in 24 hours you can understand the standard and again the dubious impact factor sgif and all the other things that you can see i will not show you the names of the people those are publishing with them you can see on your own but it is very very difficult to understand some of the good papers are there with these clone journals so now where is the original journals they are saying that it is in scopus we will go to the databases of scopus anybody can reach to the databases of scopus with your gmail id i have the university access you may have your own access so if you write agium here scopus will self populate it for you and will give you the original website or it will give you that the country from where it is being published right so we will write agium here click this and we will see the area that it's an archaeology journal it's an archaeology journal publishing from belgium the university de liga the problem is there the, the original id is not given here so that is why this clone website comes easily so where is the original email id we can go to schemago schemago rankings will only speak about the journals of elsewhere so only write about the elsewhere journals no other journals so you will uh, you will see more information about that journal the country and everything here you can see agium it is a belgium journal and i will also give you the original website and here it is the university de liga it is publishing it so is this website does not look like a belgium website uh, publishing in belgium so this is the second example of a cloned journal and there are various other uh, sources from which you can check the journal this is the second one so the third one is ot ot that is also a, a kind of weak journal in indexed in scopus but you now can see prima facie it's an right because again they have written ugc care group 2 active journal why if it is an international journal why they are concentrating on ugc group 2 list only because they are fooling us only again it's a monthly journal which is not possible and again you can see the call for paper throughout the year publication fees and everything all the points which i discussed are there in this journal and where is the original journal we will search that also and you can see uh, if you go to the contact details you will not see any details the same picture has been used in the earlier journal which is this journal adalia's clone journal if you go to the contact details of the adalia clone journal the same picture is here and if you come to this ot art journal the same picture is there so you can understand that these people are running a cartel running a kind of uh, Uh, drug cartel in research by cloning the best of the journals or the weakest of the journals best of the journals cloning is very very difficult because the journal will come to know but those journals who are very weak in scopus or in web of science databases they are easily cloned so where is the original journal we will go to the scopus again we'll go to sources in scopus you can search by the three uh, areas you can search the first one is title then publisher then isn we will go by title we will write ot ot here and then you will see that it has been Uh, self populated by scopus when you click on ot ot you please see you click here and you see that it's a weak journal some of the site score is very less and it is there from the last 11 year and it's an italian journal publishing in italy and that is why it is of italy and italian language the citation score is very very less out of 188 documents they got only 11 citations and if you go to the source home page here it is very very important to have this source home page here if it is not there then it is sometimes tough to reach to the original website that is why we started that helpline that is cdfdi@gwa.md.edu where we are helping people in trying to reach to the original journal so if you click on the source home page here it will take you to the original website which is in italian so this is the original website of that journal which is in italian and what we saw was the the same kind of a cloned website of that original journal it's not the same but the cloned website of that original journal so this is a third journal it is of international uh, stature i will also show you some of indian journals now fourth journal some chinese journals have also been uh, uh, cloned by them the first one is xian journal of architecture and technology now look at this website and prima facie you will be able to catch it on your own 
again the gmail id the picture of scopus database is it is indexed in scopus no doubt about that but this is not the original website of that journal right again you can see submission last date throughout the year acceptance status blind peer review 12 issues and everything same thing wohi cheeze bar bar sab jagah inhone likhi hoti hain jo inko baaki journals mein deni hoti and if you go to again the contacts you cannot contact them no details of the contact editorial board is there you don't know who is gu chawlin you don't know mathas you don't know anybody there are no details no pictures nothing you go to the current issue some of the papers are there and papers are also of a different category some paper are of like uh, social economic background another paper is of syntactic deviation in tamil speaking students some paper are of this deep con conservation some paper are of female labor force so all kind of research papers they accept because they are cloned they are not the original one so where is the original one they are saying that it is in scopus a screenshot of scopus is being put by them to fool you people we will again go to scopus we will go to sources we will put the name of the journal here and scopus will self populate and give us the original website i'll just copy the name from here here it is self populated by scopus we will go to find sources here is the journal and you can see again the source home page is given science press publisher is in china and it is scopus index and the score is less that is why it was a chinese language journal and its cloning was easily done so if you go to source home page it will take you to the original website this is the original website working in chinese language you can go to the english part of that also right due to the system upgrade the website is being upgraded so you can see that these kind of problems are there that sometimes if their system is upgrading so you will see that it, this might be the original website but not this is not the original website under all circumstances this is a cloned website because it has all wrong and fake uh, fake information with them one more chinese journal zidian journal journal of zidian university again you can see almost the similar kind of website you see group 2 report at their gmail and again the scopus uh, screenshot they are misusing the scopus databases and using the original screenshot and putting it on a cloned website by showing that it's a original journal they took 48 hours because they might be reading something otherwise it is 24 hours everywhere frequency 12 issues and again submission last date throughout the year and money minting machines they have become and by only fooling the indian research scholars again contact us no details will be given if you go to the editorial board there will be the names only and you don't know who those people are no pictures no official email ids are given just like that so where is the original journal let's go to uh, scopus because they have given us a screenshot of scopus we'll go to scopus again we'll go to sources we'll enter title here self populated by scopus here and you can see again it's a science press journal chinese language journal if you click on source home page it will take you to the original journal working in china in chinese language so this is the original website of that journal this is astonishing that how they are fooling us and how these websites are being cloned here in uh, indian uh, context and uh, indians are being in your young research scholars are being fooled by them i will also show you a unique example of an indian journal but let me complete the foreign journals there is one more uh, uh, journal which was a very very high ranked journal that was sustainable humanosphere it's a japanese journal they publish only one paper a year one paper a year somebody made the clone website and it worked there for 6 months the website started in may and they made a strong protest against that website and finally the website was down so they it's written on their website uh the website came in april and in september it was down so now the papers and everything is gone those who have published with them has gone for a toss their money research and uh, credibility has gone for a toss so this was a very very unique example of a very very good journal so good journals websites are usually being stopped by themselves also but the journals those who are weak those who do not know and those who do not do research their websites are there uh, as a clone websites and the next is a dutch journal that is gis science.net 
now i think uh, sir everybody can say that it's a scopus uh, it's a clone journal yeah with this website because all the prima facie things are there group 2 written and uh, again the gmail id and if you click on the contact no details of the contact like this so prima facie this is again the clone journal i will give you one more example high technology letters i'm not going into the detail of these journals now because as you see the websites you will come to know that it's a cloned website again you can see it's a cloned website they are talking about ugc group 2 it's an international journal why they are worried about ugc group 2 again and again and one more a uh, unique example the website might be down international journal of disaster and business continuity disaster recovery and business continuity so we click always click on the first link but there are other links also so i will tell you that why you have to see other links also so we will click on the first link and it will take us to uh, the website of that journal and we will see yes so this is the website of the journal so prima facie it's looking like an original website uh, there is nothing wrong as such of ugc care list 2 and all and if you go to the contact there might be some details you can uh, give them there is some detail and email id and but there there is a kind of a concern the concern says that it's a monthly journal which is not that easy for a journal to sustain a monthly kind of thing and that to clarivate index that is esci and if you go down you will see the types of paper those who are there so you need to see that what kind of papers they are publishing that is now also your responsibility to see the nature of the working of that journal you just cannot publish blindly with a journal without checking the quality of paper it's already publishing so you can see that the paper geologic acid and its derivatives cannot does not come into the purview of this journal it's a disaster recovery journal and then uh, it's a post 911 pakistan relation with neighboring states and then politics of pakistan and the benazir bhutto so what kind of uh, research journal research papers they are publishing in this disaster recovery and that to web of science index so this gives you a kind of so what you have to do now you have to go to web of science resources and here we will put the name of this journal and we'll try to see whether this was the original website or it is the original website where we are going now we will go to return to search results it is like uh, it will give us the original results so we will write the name of the journal here which is international journal of disaster recovery and business continuity we will go to search and we can see that it's an australian journal so an australian journal will not have this kind of a, a kind of a single page website so we go to view profile page and we'll see that a new website this website is there and it is an annual thing and that was saying monthly so that was a doubtful point that a monthly journal is not an easy journal to sustain there is some doubt so when you click on this journal website you go to the website it will come over on this journal the original website will come over here so you can see it is a nadia publication website this is the original website being done by the australian management and you can see all the other details which are there their indexing their author uh, their editorial board malpractices and everything so now the point comes that why i told you to not to click on the first link so if you see this and if you go back you see that this journal is the original journal is there on the second link here it is the original journal is there on the second link right but we clicked on the first link and we thought that the first link is the original one no the second link is also there but sometimes it is behind because of the seo policies of google and other al algorithms so social uh, search engine optimization is picking up as a first journal but first doesn't mean that is the correct journal or the right journal so we need to see all the links of the particular journal where more information can be found out and another important point is you can you need to be very very careful from some paper broking agencies like this which are telling you to submit papers in this journal which is already cloned so they are selling uh, they are selling you this why because you are in a hurry to publish with uh, the with new journals or with something like that so be very very careful from the paper broking agencies do not publish with them and always be very very careful if somebody approaches you that he can help you in publishing by taking some money most of these publications are being caught these times and it is a very very kind of dangerous time for research publishers to go by these publications and these kind of research journals so be very very careful always survey the links that you go uh, about a uh, to go to go about a journal 
if you get around 10 to 7 links check all the links of that particular journal so these are some of the international journals there are plenty more but i'm not wasting more uh, uh, time in it because there will be many more questions after that so let me show you one or two indian research journals which have been cloned why indian research journals because indian journals those who are working in the field of languages like punjabi urdu marathi kannada telugu and others are all being cloned by some of these miscreants so the first one is mukt shabd journal now when you see this website Prima Facia, you will always say you will you will yourself say that it's a cloned website. What they have used, they have used the screenshot of UGC care list that this journal is UGC care listed group one. But you can see it's a Marathi language journal publishing in Marathi only, and it has no EISN, so website cannot be made of this, right? And again, if you see if you see the editorial board, you will be laughing. People from USA are the members of this editorial board. What are they doing in Mukt Shabd? they don't know that their names have been misused here so that is the point whenever you see these kind of journals always survey everything and again if you go to the contact there will be nothing to contact you you cannot contact them only a gmail id and some address of pune is given right so now how will we check that i will be doing that also for you what we will do we will go to ugc uh, link here it is you can easily add with your you can easily go with your gmail id user id password i am not a robert login you just log in like this <laughs> sorry you just log in like this there is an alert group 1 and group 2 <laughs> we'll come to this alert later let me search you the original journal go to title right mukt you can write mukt shabd also go to search and here it is mukt shabd print only specifically it is written here it's a print only journal you cannot have the website of this journal it does not have the eisn here it is eisn na there is no eisn of this journal so this journal cannot have the website and now if you go to action you go to view you will get the details full details of this journal So here are these details. It's a print-only journal. Publication language is Marathi. Subject is language, and focus subject is also Marathi. So how can this journal publish papers from all over the world? And what are the American people doing the, in the uh, doing uh, in the editorial board? And if you click on the current table of content, you will see the front page of this journal. This is a front page of this original journal in Marathi. right one more example unique example of uh, this cloning in indian journals is kala sarovar so this is kala sarovar so kala sarovar is also the same part of the world the cloned part you can see the website again they are asking paper from everywhere right and 3000 rupees 100 usd and all and if you go to the uh, author you can see the name of the author is also wrong author guidelines they not even correctly spelled is that is author you go to the contact us this time they have used some names some names of the people professor mukesh patidar i don't know and i am worried whether he knows that that his name has been misused or not he, he will not be involved in this kind of cloning he will not give his name so where is the original journal now will we will again in public we will again go to the list. name here title we'll go to kala rover we'll go to search you can see it's print only my god it's a print only journal if you go to view you can see print only it is multidisciplinary no issues in that a journal can have multidisciplinary but it's print only and if you see the current table of contents it's written here bhartiya kala evam sanskriti ki vishishta shodh pratika right so this is the original journal and that too in hindi language all the articles are in hindi right so so this is a point of concern that why we are not researching on the journals now 
and you have a general club so it is now your job and sir is there to help you out sir is also a renowned uh, figure working in the area of uh, fake pretend and clone and i am very very excited to work with sir and we are thinking of uh, doing some more activities in this we also had the elsewhere workshop where we were the keynote speakers in uh, working out on this menens and many of the south asian people around 5000 participants were registered and attended to this workshop and came to know more about this cloning and predatory i haven't started the predatory yet it is just the cloning that i am showing you so so there are plenty so i can show you more also but uh, sir let's go for some questions if they are there yeah dr sumit thank you and there is a question medip academy which are index copernicus index, index copernicus also but i'll just check them medic medip m e d i p medip academy yeah there is an andabad publisher yeah surprised to know it's in your list of predatory publishers or oh, yeah. somebody has already seen that it is a predatory publisher yeah yeah it is it is a predatory because it's not indexed anywhere and then they will say that they are one of the best the name international i've told you there are three four names they need to be very very careful global international american and european these yeah. four names are very 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 uh, doubtful names you cannot set the standards you cannot reach the standards of an international but you can use use its word international word you can use international surgery journal yes you can write this word but to reach that level of nature and landsat of these levels of international is not possible and you can see many many uh, publisher many names a journal uh, means this publisher is having many journals in its kitty that is also very very difficult to maintain so i will be uh, Uh, classifying it as a predatory journal because it's not indexed anywhere. And uh, what is your criteria, sir, of publishing? That how because in our university, in other areas, in social sciences, you need to publish two papers in a good Scopus uh, index journal or a Web of Science index journal. Then their PhD can be submitted. And what is the criteria, sir, in your area? It's uh, it's almost the same. Uh, I think one Osmania paper. now says one paper, but uh, yeah, I mean one paper as a first author or a corresponding author. is important and that should be uh, uh, indexed in an index journal or ugc uh, listed journal ugc care listed but yeah care listed care listed it it is a weak kind of list which i say in in terms of the databases of uh, no no harm to ugc in india i like india and ugc but mm. somehow the, the other list the better list are abdc is also good list and this scopus and web of science uh, all of them are doing even your nas list is also there but <laughs> their journals are also very much predatory that list is also have some kind of uh, problems in them yes. so you can see that the, these journals you can see i i would report them as a predatory journals to my file also yeah so, i think uh, there uh, is another question about uh, predatory journal but we would like to get to the introduction of predatory journal and then uh, ask this uh, question something related to cloning can be something related to cloning any journal from your side anybody can give me a tip so i can help in and i can search any journal otherwise uh, i can show you these two list also just if anybody has any uh, anything related to cloned anybody any discuss any point any journal specifically cloning just stick to cloning first yeah there is one question on international journal of current advanced research whether it is authentic cloned or predatory international journal of current advanced research international naam aate hai sir thoda sa doubt aa jata hai international journal of current advanced research the service is unavailable there is a next website i think uh, there is another website after that yeah second yeah sometimes they they down their websites also na hmm Index International Journal of Current Advanced Research. Service is unavailable. Please check. Tell that person to check, and we will uh, see that whether this website is working there. Because he has taken these dubious impact factor. You can see Index Copernicus, SJIF. Yeah. All these are dubious impact factors. And once they take these dubious impact factors, then this. So is the uh, Index Copernicus dubious impact factor? Hundred percent, sir. Okay. Hundred percent. and what about omics group of journals 100% sir my four four paper were there in 
or eight. I published with them. They were good when they started. They start. They started misusing misusing this concept of. They were from Hyderabad only, sir. There's a big story on them also. Yes, so, yes. This open access uh, fraud was being done by them only. On the pretext of open access, they were charging so much of money, and some of their journal went to Scopus, and they were indexed in Scopus for some time. But now it's been long. They're coming with some new name now. Uh, I don't know. There are two, three new names that they've taken up, and the same publishers are still existing with some other name. And Omics is among those, uh, uh, un, uh, you know, publishers who get, sends unsolicited mails, unsolicited asking mail. you yeah. to come to conferences. Uh, you know, many of those things. Many and also their journals. They they changed their names. I just forgot the name. They changed their names now. They okay. they changed it from Omics to something else. But but Prima Facia. Uh, you will see the website. It will look like the same one because and, wo jo apne and, uh, wo jata nahi hai na? and uh, next one is about academic journals. Academic and, okay. publishers or academic journals are they uh, predatory or cloned? This should open directly. Checking your browser before accessing—that is also a questionable thing. They might be taking your data. My data cannot be taken because a lot many firewalls are being used by me. But uh, this need to be checked. That why this is asking for this. Checking your browser before. Because accessing. academic journals, uh, yeah, uh, they publish in variety of areas. Yes, AJ. Yeah, is this? Yeah, biology, animal, nematology. Yeah, uh, yeah they in they social sciences. Uh, They are into yes. social sciences as also, a, engineering as also. A, yes, as a publisher, their name might be in that list also. We need to see. We need to see that list also, academic journal. So this is, I will also work on them. This is a food for. मुझे भी तो homework मिलना चाहिए. I will write the name in my diary. I have made the diary in which I also work, academic journals. So prima facie, they are not indexed anywhere. Otherwise, the indexing thing must have been written, highlighted, or the website again and again. But if we can go down, you can see you no know, create additional archive, self archiving, open membership. I don't think sir, it is indexed anywhere. Okay. They're just doing. Is it is it in the list of uh, journals that are not indexed or cloned journals, or predated? Some journals are not indexed. Some journals are sir, not. If they are charging money and huh. saying and selling themselves as index, that means they are predatory or fake. But they are not cloned. These are not the cloned examples. These okay. are the real websites. Okay. Can right? we go so to the kind of predatory journals? Yes, we can go to predatory journals. So I have given you that definition that it is a paid or publishing only deceptive uh, publishing. So let me show you an example of a predatory journal. we will go to the scopus databases from there also we will check we will go to the website also and i will show you the papers also that how it is a predatory journal so first journal is european journal of molecular and clinical medicine so this is a scopus index journal and to understand this criteria and these things we first go to the latest discontinued list of scopus index journal which is updated every 2 months so latest scopus index uh, discontinued list scopus index discontinued list i'll write i've written wrong so everybody has to download this list this list will work as a kind of a bible for you sabke paas ye list honi chahiye save it download it and see this list i am opening it for you it is free anybody can download this list and can utilize it for your research purposes so let's go to the list first then uh, this list will be uh, discussed along with the predatory journals so i am opening this list for you some kind of uh, internet problem anyways this list will open we will go to european journal of molecular and clinical medicine 
this journal has been thrown out of the scopus but it's not updated here because the list came 15 days ago so this is a list is just opening up so this list came uh, 15 days ago this is a list newly added titles are highlighted in orange february 2021 so all the titles which are given here are thrown out of the scopus but the latest one are the yellow ones so you can go alphabetically and you can see you can go to e that is european journal of molecular and clinical medicine here is this journal so publication concerns was the main problem publication concern was they were publishing lot many of the research papers than the required number so this is one criteria i will give you other criteria also so you can see first see the subject area subject area is immunology to genetics so that means they cannot publish the papers of any other area so immunology and genetics so once you go to the content coverage 3600 research documents in an year means 100 research papers every day they were publishing and uploading to the scopus databases now the journal is removed the paper will also be removed so let's go to the website of this journal from the website also we can check that this journal has become predatory we'll go to the website so please see this website looking like a very good website comprehensive websites all the things are here but you write search bombay stock exchange and go for search now you can see the papers of bombay stock exchange are being published in this journal just see these papers relationship between stock return and firm's financial performance dividend policy and its impact on share price of listed national banks in bombay stock exchange so can you beat that a journal name is european journal of molecular and clinical medicine you go to contact us there will be no details they are charging 25000 rupees right you go to the editorial board there is no editorial board no no information at all if you click here nothing only the names without pictures and that to their own names dr ap singh who is dr ap singh at the rate 321 gmail.com united kingdom info at the rate i e j m c n dr ac sinha philadelphia editorial at the rate sri lanka pakistan italy shukra sir aapka aur hamara naam nahi hai right so this is this is the kind of fraud they are doing so what happened when this journal was indexed it only published six research papers nine research papers in 2019 it couldn't and in 2020 it was being hijacked or being done by somebody and it published around 3600 research documents now all the documents has gone for a toss all the papers all the research has gone for a toss and all the money multiply 3600 into 15000 you will see that he has earned around 6 to 7 crore rupees now the journal is out he does not care you cannot catch him you don't know where is he is sitting and who is that person but who is at the loss you are at the loss right so this is the first point in predatory journals go to the website 110% the website will be publishing out of the purview of that research journal then you come to content coverage 110% it is publishing more than the required research papers i'll give you the examples those who will come in the next list this is a february list you just downloaded i will give you five new names which will be there in the next list because i have caught them before scopus has done that and or the web of science and all so second journal of this predatory category and you can see the journals sciences the journals of social sciences not the journals of sciences are doing this that is very very astonishing that how can this, how this can happen with the people from sciences the next one is plant archives the name is not there the name is in the list but it's not updated here very very unique example the area is agriculture and biological sciences plant science some rbs rs yadav is working on it go to the content coverage 467 1414 and 1663 3000 documents in the last 3 years 3500 uh, and if you see the site score that is 0.1 here you can see it more clearly that nobody cited this journal for 5 years and it still persisted nobody cited this journal and out of the total scoring out of the total ranking out of 431 total rankings in the field of plant science it is at 421 consistently so why are you publishing with this journal you you need to check with you also 
that why are you publishing with this other which is at the last leg and asking money and you will never get any citation of your paper that is also a point the plant archives third example now i will show you the journals those who have been written discontinued journal of critical reviews here it is journal of critical reviews just see it is written cover is discontinued it came only for 2 years and how many papers it published 2900 research papers the area pharmacology to molecular biology can you read that so let's go to the website of this journal journal of critical reviews so just look at this website so what is the website saying now they are saying doi activation because they never give doi so they have written this to doi activation at gmail ke aap apna doi le le papers ka otherwise it's a predatory journal and everybody knows that but i used to say that they, their doi doesn't work so they have written this there so it is they are written on the website it is not limited to the specific details of science and engineering but it is instead devoted to a very wide range of sub fields in all the engineering sciences pharmacy management and social sciences so this is the word management and social sciences they are not supposed to write this on the website because the area is immunology right this is one point then you see the papers the quality of the papers anything is published in this journal anything until uh, just not the concerned thing because the people of humanity are good they are not publishing with them but other people are the employer branding building what is this paper doing here what is water scarcity in ramanathapuram district what is this paper doing here management of covid patient using plasma therapy it might be a good paper i don't know but this paper is ruined it was being published in a wrong journal and if you click on the doi the digital object identification will not given to this paper the doi will never work to activate a doi i will show you our journal we go to crossref metadata manager you pay them couple of verifications are done on your journal only then you get the original doi for your research journal digital object identifier is a very very important thing for a research paper for a digital archive so this is our university account we are logging in and i am showing you the inside story of a digital object identifier you have to make your paper machine readable i do all the work so i have this information otherwise it's a publisher's area but we are the publisher of our own journal so we have this information also so this is how a doi is allotted to a research paper it goes to a machine machine becomes uh, make uh, make that paper a, a machine readable paper and once you click on the doi from any part of the world it will take you to the research paper like this so wherever that paper is lying you can be reached there so what are the information that you have to file uh, fill in when you apply for a doi you go to add article and you see the information article title the doi the abstract the name of the contributor the funding agencies the licenses that you use the references that you use all the related information type or paste references here related items additional info information so much of similarity to everything is required to get a doi why will they give you a doi if they have to do this much of work they are predatory they are just publishing 24 hours taking money and uh, publishing around 100 research papers almost every day so how can they give you this information they will never give you the doi so that is also a point of concern in a predatory journal that there is no doi or a working doi so how a doi should work i have just shown you that also right so again one more uh, example we'll again go to sources publishers also do that you go to you can find by publishers also i a e m e publications right they got these five journals three are out two are out in the latest discontinued list they were not out earlier they were latest they were latest out so if you go to the website of this journal this publication you will see a different kind of dubious website which doesn't look like of original journal 
or a journal of repute. Yes, their journals are original, but they does not have that repute to stand alone in web of science and scopus databases. So they are out now. Again, the PDF thing, you cannot uh, click on it and download through the DUI. You will never be given that DUI. And the people are still publishing with them. I don't know what is wrong with them. But every time I come to this website and show it to the people, there are more and more papers there. If I go to the page six, uh, I think around 300 research papers almost every day they are publishing. And people are still publishing. They do not know that the paper will stand here only. It will be never be indexed in Scopus. And if somebody wants to search you in Scopus, he can search you by name. And if your name is not there, the papers cannot be seen. So that is a problem that you have papers in front of your name also. You can say that it is on the website, doesn't matter. It should come in front of your name. Like I will just showing my example in the 11 documents, right? This is how people are searching. I can also uh, search. I think you also have this facility. I can search about the affiliation. If I see how many papers your institution have published in now, that can also be checked. National Institution of Nutrition, sir, or National Institute. Hai. Institute. National Institute, yeah. Or maybe here it is. So anything is searchable. Everybody is leaving some kind of digital footprint. So 2,366 documents uh, are there of your institution. So you can check that also. We can uh, go into the details also. So, so it is there. Everything is there. So that is why I always say that these kind of journals you should always avoid because they don't give you the full information. And by mistake, there are three journals and then the two journals were in Scopus. And now Scopus have removed all the journals. But before that, the damage has been done and people are still publishing with them. So your paper will stay here on the website, but it, it will never reach to the databases of the concerned or the linked institution and in front of your name also. So if somebody is saying that the Scopus will take it over in two months or three months, he's making fool out of you, right? So that is one publisher. I will show you another publisher, which also ruined the Indian academics. That is Blue Star, Blue Eye Intelligence Engineering Services. They got three index journals. All of them are out. But before getting out, they published around 22,000 research papers in two years. So this is one example. And I will show you example also those whose papers have been removed. So these papers will also be removed. So coverage discontinued. You can see 2018 to 19. And if you go to the content coverage, 8,300 research papers in a year and that too of engineering. So the uh, I was not uh, sure that the engineering and medical people can go wrong. But now I, I have seen more and more examples of engineering and medical. Those who are in the business of early and uh, predatory publishing. This is very, very uh, uh, bad thing for me. Because I was thinking that social sciences are <clears throat> doing this exercise. But now I am seeing more and more engineering journals. And some medical journals are also getting involved in it. So another journal, these journals uh, are out. This journal is also out, but the papers have also been removed. So they are now coming up with a policy where too much of too much of uh, <coughs> uh, plagiarism has happened and other things have happened. They will remove all the data. So test engineering and management is the example of this journal. So you click on test engineering and management. And you go to the content coverage. It is also coverage discontinued in Scopus. You go to content coverage and you can see only two documents because all the documents have been removed. So there are plenty of these journals in which you can see the number is very, very high. They are being removed or they're publishing out of the context they have been removed. So these are the categories of predatory publishing. So there are more, but any examples? Let me also enhance my data. Yes, sir. Uh, there is uh, one question about the Journal of Biomolecular Structure and Dynamics. It's a Taylor and Francis group. It claims to be whether it is true or not. Journal of? Journal of Biomolecular Structure and Dynamics. Molecular, yeah, the third one, yes. It's a good journal, site score is 4.5. And uh, 1300 document, the citation score is very high, sir. Okay. 
Yeah, in 2020, it published around 1300 documents. So <clears throat> when I discuss with them, they say that if it is a kind of COVID-19 related paper, so it was a boom. So maybe that is why it was 1300, but now the score is really less. But yes, I can work more on it, but till now it is going fine. I'll go to the homepage also. We have to see what kind of papers they have published. If they publish out of the context papers, it will be surely be in the radar of the Elsevier team and they will be checking this on their themselves also. So I have to see the papers and what kind of papers that they're publishing is a, is a kind of uh, point of concern, but the score is high, so the citations are also there. Yeah. We can check by the citations also. We can see that uh, who is citing them, 6,500 citations. We can see that who is citing them. <clears throat> so from there also we can see good journal, plus journal and good journals are citing them. So, okay. so that is how we can, dip, uh, we can dig deep into the journals. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Sumit, so there is an important question. See, which says, uh, when I published in a journal, it was a Scopus Index journal. Like you've shown now, some of them have been removed from Scopus database. So when it was published, say about two years ago, three years ago, the journal was Scopus Index. Maybe it didn't have impact factor or anything. So what do we do th with that? Is it that, you know, that the research paper published in that has gone waste? So there are two answers to it. One is that, uh, why did you publish with that journal? If it is a good journal, it might be there, but your paper is weak. That is also a point that what is the title of your paper and what is the name of that journal? Okay. Right? It, there should not be made, no mismatch. If a person of Bombay Stock Exchange publishing in molecular journal and coming to me, Sumit, how can I help you, sir? I cannot help him because he published in a wrong journal. And he knows that he's publishing in a wrong journal. A molecular journal cannot publish the papers of Bombay Stock Exchange and also taking 25,000 rupees. So that is the un answer to that is we need to see the title of the paper and the purview of the research journal. So sometimes you intentionally do it. So uh, we, we are giving this person the benefit of doubt, the, the person who asked the question. So my answer would be you a paper should be there, then you are safe. So if you see the paper and your name in the databases, you are safe, you're good to go. But if the journal and the papers have been removed, then uh, your score will come down. And if you're applying for some career advancement scheme, that paper will not be counted because you cannot, you will not be able to show it in front of your name. So, so that is a problem. So if the paper is there, it will stand with you. But then, but then if somebody is asking for that, what kind of journal you approach, that is now a point of concern for everybody. That why we approached that journal, which is now out. Right, uh, a journal named Solid State, Solid State, I have a list of that, uh, I have certain list also, Solid State Technology. Do not publish with the, this journal under any circumstance. Solid State Technology. Why? I tell you why. You go to this journal, the website is still alive, it is going on and something is happening to that, but it hasn't been indexed after 2018. I have written a mail to elsewhere also to clear my doubt. They will be clearing in one day. If you go to content coverage, no papers have been uploaded after 2018. It is 2021. So always check these and never publish with these kind of journals. At the end of the day, uh, you, you will be uh, in a kind of uh, sheer trouble. So please okay. see whether your paper is there or not. There is another question which says, my name is listed in the editorial board without my consent. How do I go about it? Just write to them, write to them and take the screenshot of the mail with you. My name is also there in two fake journals. So I've written to them. Next thing you can do is that uh, Google alert. Go for these Google alerts. I have put Google alerts on my name. Whenever my name is used anywhere or the yeah. email ID is used anywhere, I will get an alert. Nomophobia is my research area. If, yeah. if these four things are used, I will get an alert. As and when I get an alert, I write to them, please cut down my name or I will write to cybercrime and take that email with you and write and wherever you want to show, you can show that email to uh, clear your records that you are not involved. My name is also there. People are writing my name also in certain things. They, they might publish a paper with my name also without being asking from me. So a lot many things are going on. You need to be very, very careful and be uh, supportive of that, uh, that they can fool you. Yeah, uh, there is a connected question. Uh, if, if, for instance, uh, a paper is published in the journal and the journal is not existent anymore, and so your paper, the published paper is also not existent. Can that work be published again? It can, but it should not enter into the deep archives of internet. If it is in the deep archives of internet and you can search it, then it will not be publishable because I think it or Turnitin will catch it. 
you need to write the title of your paper again on google and try to search it again into uh, many of the points that 1 2 3 4 in the uh, in the google category if it's not there then you're good to go so it means no digital footprint should be there of anything that you've yes. published yes, yes. you so need but, to remove but it is from it everywhere. but is it ethical dr sumit to publish the work which has been published maybe in a predatory journal unknowingly you published but you want to publish it again I, is it is it ethical no no what i'm trying to say you removed it from it with the permission of that journal okay journal okay. close your paper one you cannot publish it it is published but if you write to them and you tell them that we would like to republish it with your own permission or your journal is gone kindly allow us to get it uh, republished with some more data only then otherwise it's a simple and clear case of plagiarism which the softwares will catch you just cannot uh, remove your all food, uh, digital footprints something will be there and i can find out and others can also find out okay there is uh, another question from silvia does this yes ma'am come under cyber crime what action is being yes. taken against cyber these fishing. journals it's academic cyber phishing it is academic cyber phishing somebody is taking your money in cyber crime this is cyber phishing in terms of academics somebody is misusing misusing your research and your knowledge 100% cyber crime you can write to government of india also and that is why ugc has give oh okay i have i haven't shown you that link i'll just show you that link you can see list of cloned journals group 1 group 1 ke 27 research journals jo clone hue hain these are the links so ugc go you write to them and ugc will put them on this website they are increasing it is 27 the same link has the group 2 link this is group 2 these are the international research journals like adalia agu in bulletin monumental uh, gis science high technology letters these are international journals being cloned by the people so the complaints are there and people are working on them but yes predatory you who will you complain if you write to the author, uh, to the editor editor will say that's not my problem you publish with us and now you are saying that it is predatory you know that we we charge money so from predatory is very very difficult to survive in cloning you can write to them and uh, then there is kind of survival of that ki ye website ko aap pakad paaye predatory mein to kuch bhi nahi hai it's in the it's in the scopus databases and it's not in the scopus databases okay one more what about uh, the journal that has given me a certificate of impact factor along with the citation no, no, no. index no impact factor sir scopus never gives any impact factor certificate jcr journal that is journal of uh, uh, journal citation report web of science journals never give any certificate of the impact factor which i just told you ki ye sare impact factor ke certificate jhoote hain there is nothing like impact factor on any of the journal if you go to this uh, here it is 0.3 this journal will not give you an impact factor certificate why should a journal will give you an impact factor certificate why for what purpose i don't see any journal giving an impact factor certificate any genuine journal we do not give our is 0.6 we do not give you go to the website you see here on the sources type the name of the journal i'll just show you that also it is 0.6 that is fine and we put that on we do we do not put it anywhere we not here to sell the impact factor and to get the paper because of the impact factor is the scopus responsibility to give us a bare factor through their own algorithms or we are getting it the site score was 0.1 now it has reached 0.6 and we are aspiring to be at 0.1 uh, so there is nothing like giving a certificate sir that is also dubious and malpractice you can see the papers only 50 in one year i can also publish 1000 research papers and run away why why should i do that others are doing it just to print money and then and then to just give a kind of a bad name to indian research and you see the categories communication so everything is clear here okay and uh, w- uh, what about the journals which charge money all the journals that are open access uh, uh, for instance if you take the bailey list bailey says all that are open access may be dubious is it true no sir not all the open access journals are dubious i'll show you one example that is big data and society it is world's number one journal as per the scopus databases it is an open access journal so if you see that uh, it's a predatory journal no it's world's number one journal you can see 1 1300 documents site score is 7.9 it was 10.2 now it has reduced to 7.9 Let's go to the home page. If we go to the home page, we can see that they are asking for the APC, which is around fifteen hundred US dollars, and it is written on the website. You go to general of uh, general description, fifteen hundred USD dollar is written here. That is the APC. So yeah. this journal is not bad at all. Yeah, for that matter, yes, uh, Lancet and many of our uh, yes. medical journals are also open access. 
and plus so open, my general, BMC open access doesn't mean that they misuse the concept of open access while charging hefty money in terms of their predatory apna farzi journal chalane ke liye apne aap ko establish karne ke liye apna bhook mitane ke liye they misuse the concept of open access open access is a very nice concept giving away your science and your research to all for citation and to understand is a nice concept but they have been misused for that also i'll just give you one link in the chat box that is you can read this sage open access policy and others have also the same policy i'm not here to say that sage is very good for that but this is the main open access policy for everybody which you should read and it is uh, here it is i i'm sharing the link so it is for everybody just read it understand it gold what is gold open access what is hybrid open access what is green open access just read them and uh, see that uh, there is lot lot many things to understand i'm writing the uh, it's in the the link is in the chat box right sir can you share the other links also in the chat box of uh, the predatory journals and scopers and other things scopers. that you, yeah yeah okay they, they are in the scopers databases so if you have the access to scopers databases so you okay. can easily find them okay you can write to me also that is the cdfndi@gw.amri.in can you please put Just it in the chat box yeah yeah what happened you know Okay, the link I am putting that in the chat box. Link is not; it's it's an email that I am sharing it with all. That is c d f n d at the rate g w a dot m t dot e d u. You can write to me. We will get back to you in forty eight hours about all the things. Now I'll show you two three new journals which will be joining the list. They are not there, but now they will join the list of the predatory journals. So I am awaiting you before somebody else will aware you. so we'll go to sources again first journal i think i have to sign in again in scopus okay i'll just sign in again so the first journal name is advances in spelling advances in mathematics scientific journal so this is not in any of the list but it will soon join them you can see in two years it has published around 1200 research papers and in two months 70 research papers area is mathematics i will take you to the website also it has just joined 2019 it joined but joined only for the purposes of selling itself out 94 document in one year nobody cashed it into second year 1000 research journals and now 70 so it will be soon out so never ever publish with this kind of journal if we go to the website of this journal now who gives me this people like you give me the tip those who see these journals and you can see again that paper broking agency ifrp is there selling this journal to the people again the index copernicus indexing is been done with this journal so it's a kind of racket it's a cartel it's a racket working together four five agencies are working together and fooling the full education system of india and the world so this is the website of this journal the publisher itself is dubious research publication what does that mean research publication who is this publisher now the problem is why is this elsewhere index them first so those journal who joins them in the beginning are not predatory after joining them they sell their souls and become predatory right again if you go to the call for paper and all or open access statement there so many things are written from here there special issue special issue whatever they are doing right they are in google this is the one this is one example you need to save save yourself from this journal another journal f1000 F thousand research or what that is F thousand research site score is very high four point one and it's a Taylor and Francis journal 
and the area you can see is pharmacology and anything and the research papers number is also very high 1724 all the other f 1000 research journals are out and it's a taylor and francis journal so publisher doesn't mean that taylor and francis cannot do wrong they can also do wrong and publish anything the score is still high again one more journal symmetry i got it yesterday open access asking for 1800 swiss francs 2000 research papers in one year 1500 last year 2019 and 244 till now what they are doing self citation and self citation has led them to 2.5 of self score here it is the ranking is also very high out of 368 they are standing at 55 the areas mathematics computer science physics chemistry right mdpi publishing is an open access 100% so, chances of this journal out so yes, you mean sir. to say this is going uh, going to be uh, delisted from scopus definitely sir the numbers are quite high the numbers okay. are high that means there will be no quality of review process if you are publishing 1000 research papers in a year and it's a biannual or a three editions journal how can you review them who is a reviewer who are the publishers and why are you asking 1800 Swiss francs for every research paper that you are publishing because But you know that you have to go. But it is its site score is very high and it was also oh, yes. in in 2018 till 2018 it was publishing very well like 74 or 80 papers. But what about those yes. who have already published till then? It will stay sir the data might not go out. Okay, F1000 medicine yes. is yeah. very very well known actually. Which one sir? F1000 medicine. Medicine yes that is known. Yeah. yeah. But I'll and and, is going. and there is a question. I will show you where to get the list of fake time. journals. Okay, sir. This is also you can see this journal is discontinued, right? Okay. You okay. can see the site score was one point two. Okay. So site score doesn't matter in that case if you are publishing high number of research paper and that too out of context, and that too you have to see that what what is the urgency to publish around three thousand research papers in one year, and that too while you are taking money. right european so, journal of food safety and nutrition just a second european journal of food safety and nutrition no it's not scopus indexed let me see maybe i am writing the wrong spellings sometimes e is okay so what is the uh, world cat maybe. indexing the world cat indexing is about books only i'll just show you isbn number search karte hain se world cat library indexing it is for the isbn number only this has issn number of 2347 5641 Word. OCLC dot org. This indexing stands nowhere. It is a kind of indexing which is there. That's it. There it is. Home. This is for librarians' toolbox, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Go to home. Basically, for library management and all, WordCat and this. You can misuse this logo anywhere you want to. People are using it. It doesn't. And it may. It may be of some information, but in India, it's not that widely used. Okay, and uh, where to get the list of fake journals is the next question. Okay, sir. First, the European Journal of Nutrition and Food, food, food Safety. Food safety. Yeah. European word is again dubious, and this RS atom and all <laughs> is written. So, 
we go to indexing of this journal again sir you can see index copernicus okay see china is a chinese agency which indexes chinese journal but they have this nas score now how nas added them is also a kind of question to be asked from the nas that how they can do it and you can see quality open access market is nothing it is doaj if somebody is speaking about open access he should speak about doaj it is very very difficult to take this time directory of open access journal it gives you full information about a journal which is open access and this is application process you need to complete these seven steps right only then you can check and if you go to search you can click on journals all the open access journals which are which are there which whose data is there with them will be there 15000 open index journals are there with them and if you click on without publication fees there will be around 11000 so these 11000 papers are publishing open access papers without taking publication fees so ye list aap yahan se download kar sakte hain 11937 journals and you can see their names no charges yeah jitne bhi ye hain there will be no charge so doaj is a kind of thing inhone to kuch aur hi laga rakha hai wo kahan gaya wo journal european journal so you know green wala green wala yeah yes here it is so this is it to ye dekhiye to itni cheezein lagane ki zarurat hi nahi hai and that to say mendeley what do you mean by mendeley on your journal what does hmm. that mean mendeley okay so this journal is not indexed anywhere please do not publish with that yeah there is another question dr sumit it is about what about the citations one gets from the articles already published in predatory journals So, for instance, if I published in a predatory journal, somebody is citing that article. So now that is problem. That elsewhere, all the web of science have to solve. They have to remove the predatory data also. Which, uh, sir, this question came in our South Asian workshop also. Yeah. Because because of this, if you do the bibliographic graphic analysis or bibliometric analysis, you don't know that this paper is predatory or this journal is predatory. It will download all the things. So I will just show you one example, a one quick example. If I go to search. i write i go to documents search document i write predatory those these are the keywords predatory publishing i'll go to search so now all the documents have came it is 241 documents right i will go to all i will download now whatever i'm downloading i have to log in with my other id but i am downloading i don't know that whether it is published in a clone journal it's clone uh, published in a predatory journal or not so that that is a problem once i am downloading it will download all the research papers and by this by mistake we give citations to the others uh, predatory journals if i go for ris export and all i can download these also let let me use the key another keyword where multiple papers will come sir any science keywords sir you can give you can you can give nutrition or malnutrition or obesity nutrition and obesity yeah two twenty six document which is less the number is very less but you you don't know now from where these research uh, papers are being taken the journals so at the end of the day you fall into the trap and you cite sometimes the wrong papers also so that is a problem with them if you go to mendeley data that is 24442 so you go to all you can analyze also you can analyze the search results also so that is the problem that sometimes these predatory journals which database is still there can be cited by us or by others mm. you can export this data now here also there is nothing we show predatory kuch pata nahi chal raha hame hame apna data mil raha hai ye yeah. sara data hum apne usme utilize kar lenge yeah and uh, the connected question is see in that case should we write the bibliography of articles uh, only from original journals when you yes, write sir, your yes, bibliography I, I, you have to write that right no uh, you need to check the predatory journals you need to check the discontinued list try to avoid the journals those who are in the discontinued list and try to avoid the journals those who are publishing high number of papers they are still existent they are in databases they but they will be removed 
So you need to be very, very careful about now these journals that you should not and go for Q2, Q1 uh, resources of the journal, the highest uh, journals like from first to 200, if it, it's a big list. If it is a list of 50 journals only go from one to 15 or one to 20 only because because the journals, those who are lying low are uh, kind of volatile and they, they are in the business of predatory because they are lying low for some reason. Otherwise their sites code should increase all the time. So they are lying low from the last five years at the same place. That means they are into something else. They're not into research. Okay, can you check Lambert Publishers, book publishers? Yes, sir. Lambert, I think the name there is in the Predatory Academic list. I think Dr. Sudeep Ghosh, this is your uh, answer to your question. Where can you get the list of predatory journals? Predatoryjournals.com slash publishers. No, it's not here. So, so what was the publisher? Lambert Academy. These guys approach very often. Anybody who publishes a thesis immediately in Shodganga or UGC, you submit. Mm -hmm. Immediately they ask the that they will publish your pay, uh, uh, research into a book. It's more of a oh, get in a, you, website, jo hai, matchmaking kind of. Only <laughs> looking at that only. Remember that one more is sir Cambridge uh, Academic is also Apple uh, Cambridge Academic. Academic is already blacklisted. Cambridge mm -hmm. Academic. Uh, Apple Academic is also doing the same thing. Rounds where we are doing. So avoid, I think we should avoid them. Avoid them and order a book, publish a book. So would you like to submit a journalist request, acquire licensing rights? The problem with me is that why I don't have the contact details on the face of it? How, hmm. why cannot contact them? Here it is. You yeah. No contact details. And what about uh, Nova Science Publishers? Ah, uh, Nova Science Publishers has, you know, once it has been said it is uh, blacklisted, but they said and uh, came back to limelight again saying that they are good. Again, they're publishing, you can see the papers. Yeah, the, sorry, the books, you can see the books. A walking tour of at least. Um, what to say about these publishers, sir, only that we should not publish with them. And yes, they will be having the ISBN. It's not difficult to check the ISBN. I'll just show you that. I take the ISBN from government of India. It is free. You just have to give your document to them, do the true work, and you will get an ISBN. Yes, yes, ISBN. it is. They take time, they verify, and then give. We recently got ISBN for our books, RDAs, and um, and uh, other books. Yes, they give you ISBN. So uh, yeah, it is not very easy. You have to submit the verso page, details, even your full plan, details. Uh, yeah, editors, yeah. everyone's name you have to give. They verify and then give you after a month or so. Hmm. So. ISBN, here it is, we, we got it. This is my third ISBN. Language, culture, and digital media, we got an edited book. So so that is there. You can take it from them also. So these books are sir, dubious. So I will do more research on this uh, this Nova publisher because I have the news, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't show you that news. Okay, yeah, it then. is conflicting um, that uh, there is, Nova is supposed to be uh, predatory, but again, uh, it came out of that list and then they said uh, credible publishers because... On Wikipedia also, you can find Nova. Yes, Wikipedia also. Yeah. So there is one more article that uh, we uh, shown to all the peoples, uh, which we discussed here also. I will uh, give you that link. That's a nature article. Everybody should read this in the chat box. I'm putting the link. Yeah, sir. There is one more question. Academy of Scientific and Applied Research. ASAR. 
Academy of Applied and Scientific Research. Yeah. ये उसमें है बेल्स लिस्ट में तो है ये बेल्स लिस्ट में है यस इट इज देयर इन बेल्स लिस्ट डू नॉट गो विद देम एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस डू नॉट गो विद देम दे हैव इन फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन आल्सो journal in food and one, nutrition just say, there is one more important thing for the side list contenty that because we are dealing with you the, the retraction watch which has come up now those papers who have been retracted are being watched there is a center for that and now a careful watch is being taken on those the uh, 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 the papers are uh, retracted there is a leaderboard also i'll show you that list and in that list you can see the falsification or fabrication of data uh, being done by some of the big wigs in the world and their name is there and what i request that your name should not ever your name should not be there some of the indians are also there you can see prashant ke sharma and once you click you will get the details these details are not here but you can see the details of other if you go to bharat agarwal or somebody else the details are there and you will see that in how many papers wrong have been done by them and why are they being retracted and what is the uh, problem uh, in their research so this is a retraction was the full details so sir hum jo digital footprints ki baat kar rahe the you can see your digital footprints so if you are publishing and you are thinking that nobody is checking your publication some of the other day anybody can check your publication and you might be uh, coming into this retraction watch and there are some of the reasons of these 56 retractions from uh, bharat agarwal i'm not sure it's from which university i'm not researching on that i don't want to name and shame is just the data for us to be very very careful so this is a new thing which is up, coming up now the detraction watch where they this is they uh, taking care of the research of others that what is wrong with them okay so that is the important point which i missed during my uh, last workshop and uh, then you need to uh, if you see the publishing policy of a journal you can check it from the sherpa romeo journals sherpa romeo journal speaks about what is the publishing policy of that journal which can be anything from uh, open access to creative commons licensing and all you put the name and the journal's title here that is journal of any journal i am writing journal of creative communication it's a sage journal and you will get all the details about this journal here it is published published accepted submitted right institutional repository these are the But of, but Journal of Creative Communication is an authentic journal. It's a Sage publication. That, uh, now I'm talking about authentic only, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So these are the authentic things that we are talking. The Detraction Watch, Sherpa Romeo. My rag paper is here, sir. All the other journals, sir. One of the best, sir. Medium. Yeah. Clocks Archive. Clocks Archive is for digital preservation. So most of the companies are going for clocks. <laughs> so that is also there. Others, <laughs> if there are any questions, please post or you can ask. <laughs> uh then i'll hand it over to uh, dr silvia sir can we end at 4:35 yeah till 4:30 is the time that we've given we are hardly left with 15 minutes now yes yes so any questions any journals that you yes. want to ask please yes. post or you can ask dr sumit you can ask that would be better for me and for our database also otherwise there are a lot many material I'll keep on talking wo fir bahut ho jayega aapke liye So, so the yeah the other uh, I mean two weeks ago we were in a LCVR workshop together, uh, and then similar questions had come up, and then that's the reason why um, I have taken liberty from uh, Sylvia uh, to moderate this session. Actually, uh, Dr. Sylvia should be moderating. I am so sorry. I have taken liberty. Uh, similar questions had come up uh, during that uh, you know Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific workshop of LCVR. about 5000 uh, uh, registrations were there at least 3 and half to 4000 people attended and the galore of questions and more of most of them are uh, almost the same as what uh, we are getting today uh, if there is any other journal name that you want to search please give or you can also turn on your mic and then ask dr sumit directly he'll help you uh, identify I hand it over to Dr. Sylvia here. Oh, sorry, something else.
any more questions uh silvia can you please take yeah. over from here yeah right so madam so dr narula has something more to add right he is not finished with the session yet <laughs> There is so much with me. I just wanted <laughs> that he they should understand, they should grasp all these. Whatever it should not go beyond true, the limits true. of the understanding. One question, one request that had come from Dr. Ayesha uh, is that please share all the links that you've given in the uh, chat box uh, by email, and then we'll share it with all, all the Journal Club members, even those who have not come uh, and attended the session today, Dr. Sunit. The predatory yes, journals, you, sir, yeah, me. yeah, Nature Predatory, yes, sir, yeah. Me. Okay. You can share those slides and my details, and because these are the links of the journals or the website, these links are for everybody. You can just write to me also if, if there is any problem. Right. Anything. Yeah. Uh, we have a copy of your presentation. Maybe we can share that with our colleagues and students yes, here. You're free to share. Yeah. You're free to share, ma'am. Yeah. Any more questions from the audience? So if not, I will just give you one more ID. That is who is domain tools.com. How to check the making of a website yeah. to get a general index scopus. You need a three years of standing online, but some of the clone journals are just made one year old and all. So this website who is domain tools.com will tell you that when a website was being made. So I will just do an exercise and we can catch the making of a website from here also. So this will also give us some kind of information about a clone journal. So if we go to a clone journal, like we go to this Aguim, we'll copy this site and we'll go to who is domain. It will give us the timeline. When was this website made? Who is the registrant of this website? From where this website is working and other details, right? So you can do that also. So you can see, basically it's just a 415 days, 415 days purani website, hai, right? No other details are given, right? Only the website title like this home. If you go to the domain name, and more details can be taken out from here, right? And registrant can, country is KN, not TR, that is Turkey. The original journal, you know that it is in Belgium. But if you see the details, these details are here, which are of a clone journal. Only four, one, five days. Lockdown ke dino mein bana hai. Lockdown mein hi sari problems hai. When the IT people went back to their houses, they started doing this kind of uh, mischievous work for us, right? So you can check the making of any journal from who, any website of anything. That is who is domain tolls.com. The another one is internet archive. Yeah, we will say uh, Wayback Machine. Wayback Machine uh, archives the data of all the websites in the world. Puri dunya ka website ka data, they obtain and maintain. So if somebody says that his website has changed, you can reach to the original website, which has been changed because they are taking care of that for you. So you can write here like the website. Uh, if you go to the MIT website, MIT.edu, I will show you that how many times our website was being changed and they have the copy of that, the old website. So nobody can say that we couldn't change it. So MIT.edu slash Gwalior. And you will see that they have the details. It is a food for thought for you. You you should deep dig into it. I don't have the time. Otherwise, there is one hour we dedicate to this only web archive. So so this website will tell us from the last four or five years how many times the website has been changed. Here it is from 2012. So I will go to 2018. And on a specific date, on 13th June, I will see that how my website was looking like. You can also do it for any of the website, right? So digital footprints, they are always there. So it is very, very difficult to say that your paper cannot be carried. Your paper can be found out or somewhere or the other, if it's digitally archived. So this was a website in 2018. Right. Any other question, ma'am? questions i don't see anything here yeah okay then we From go ICM to metric. yeah there is one uh, website that is given who is dot domain tools dot com yeah i have just worked on the website yeah that, he has posted on my yeah, yeah i be, i posted he, on his behalf oh, okay yeah. right right 
okay. This so is the same thing. Score, okay. So the new agencies are coming up uh, for this Almatrix. Almatrix gives you the data and information of anything that has happened to your research in social media. The if same. it has been debated, if it has been used by Facebook or anybody. So Almatrix is a new thing which is coming up. Taylor and Francis is using, Wiley is, it is using. So for researchers, you see, they will give you a donut and new of the uh, websites and publishers are going for Almatrix. This would be the next level of things which will be coming in site score or in citation. That is a collected record of all of the online shares and mentions of your research. This would be the Almatrix score. This would be the next thing which will be coming up in research. Yeah, all, uh, many journals are using this Almatrix yes. score now. Yes, sir. Frontiers so, uses it. Uh, yes. Yeah. So this is related record of all the online shares and mentions of your research, sir. We do know what Almatrix is. This is Almatrix. Next one is the COPE guidelines. Very, very important publication guidelines, a predatory publishing guideline. I'm sending this link to you. Read this document carefully, a 30 page document, very interesting. And this will also enhance your knowledge. Important document. There's a question from Wahini. I just went to the chat box and saw when someone has by mistake sent their paper to predatory journal paid and later realized and requested to take off their paper from their journal. Is there any way to get the money back? You can write that uh, you will be writing to cyber crime or otherwise forget about the money. Just withdraw your paper. Your research is more important than the money. And this could be a lesson for you. And you think that your money, your money has fallen off somewhere. Just survive, save your research. That is more important. Sometimes money is there. Yes, money is always important, but not every time. So first save your research and then go for money. So that is my answer. Another point, people ask about that from where to find the journal. So every company has a journal finder. Like journal finder, Springer, Wiley, uh, Scopus and all. Click on any of the journal finder. Uh, uh, fill the details. Journal suggester we have. Fill the details and the journal of your level of your research will come in front of you. Now APC and without APC, I have told you, you can check it through DOAJ. That is directory of open access journal. Here you can find. And I'm very active on LinkedIn also. You can follow me on LinkedIn. Couple of other workshops are also lined up. I'm booked till April. So I'm trying my level best to reach as many research scholars as I can. You can also uh, give my contact details to your other peers in which the university is a requirement of this kind of workshop. And we are happy to do it. And I would also like to thank uh, Subarao Sar and to ma'am for uh, giving me this opportunity to doing it in a, uh, in a most proficient and professional manner in which I can. So, uh, sir, I rest my case, sir. A couple of two, three things are there, but I think it's more than enough because otherwise there will be too much for them to understand. There is one more that is cables. Just uh, read read them also. They are also doing some kind of work. The work is being paid, so it's not very much highlighted in the research area, but they are also very, very concerned about the predatory thing. They've also come up with a black and white list of journals. Black are the predatory, white are the best one, but you cannot see this list without paying them some charges. That is cables.com slash predatory. I am just putting that link here also. You can uh, read this link also. And uh, the last thing, uh, cables, ABDC list. Check out this list. Very important list for the paper, for the people of management. I am looking, I am only looks for ABDC. They never go for Scopus and Web of Science. They, they consider Scopus and Web of Science, but they're more into this ABDC. So that is also a very, very important list for you to uh, see that the ABDC list. Sir, over to you, sir. Ma'am, over to you. Yes, yes. I was having problem unmuting. Okay. I see no questions either. So um, thank you, Dr. Narula, for this very informative and engaging uh, session. We didn't uh, know the two hours just passed by. It was very informative and quite an eye-opener to many of us here. And uh, specifically liked your sense of humor as well. Uh, I'm sure my colleagues will uh, get in touch with you if at all they need any information and you'll be kind enough to respond. I also take this opportunity to thank uh, Dr. Subarao who so uh, uh, efficiently moderated this session. Thank you so much, Subarao. And um, uh, thanks to him that he connected us uh, with you and we could uh, enable this uh, very nice session. 
once again, thanks to all the participants for being there. I'm sure all of us benefited from this uh, very good session. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Narula. Thank you, everybody, for listening to me. And thank you, Subharao Sal, once again. <laughs> uh, we will be in touch. And if anybody on the CDFND website and on LinkedIn, you can write. And you can write to Subharao Sal also. And uh, you can write to Ma'am also. And we will be in touch now. So as and when, sir, there is any error from my side, I'm sorry for that. If I have uh, put out some wrong gender or some wrong name. But most of the examples that I have shown are uh, the realistic examples. And they're very, very near to now go out of this report. Maybe they're not in the list. And please download that list. Everybody, please download that list ASAP. And uh, uh, that's it. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Have a Thank nice you. day. Thank you. Good Have evening. a nice day.